हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड बेसिक टाइप ऑफ फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर्स हियर वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट नेगेटिव फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर्स इफ यू कंसीडर एनी फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर द इनपुट कैन बी वोल्टेज आर करंट इन द सेम वे आउटपुट कैन आल्सो बी an voltage or current so if you consider any feedback amplifier input can be voltage or current as well as output can also be an voltage or current if you consider the input and output here if input is voltage and output is current such type of connection is known as series connection and if input is current and output is voltage such type of connection is known as shunt connection or parallel connection so you need to remember this if input is voltage and output is current such type of connection is known as series connection and if input is current and output is voltage such type of connection is known as shunt connection if input and output are both voltage such type of connection is known as series series connection if input is voltage and output is voltage at that case such type of connection is known as series shunt connection and if input is current and output is also current such type of connection is known as shunt series connection if we consider voltage and current we can have four combinations of input and output where input can be voltage and output can also be voltage input can be current and output can be voltage input can be voltage and output can be current and input can be current and output can be current so these are the four combinations of input and output along with that let us find the gain value now the first combination is voltage and voltage so which means this connection can be if input is voltage and output is voltage such type of connection is series shunt connection so input is voltage it can be written as series output is voltage it can be written as shunt if input is current and output is voltage such connection is known as shunt and shunt connection if input is voltage and output is current such type of connection is series series connection and if input is current and output is also current so if input is current and output is also current such type of connection is known as shunt series connection so it will be shunt series connection here if input is voltage and output is voltage so at that case we will get gain as voltage gain because input is also voltage and output is also voltage so we can write the gain as av that will be equal to v not divided by vi now if the input is current and output is voltage so output divided by input is voltage divided by current which is nothing but resistance so we can call this gain as resistance gain so that can be given as rm is equal to v not divided by i i so rm is equal to output voltage divided by the input current if the input is voltage and output is current which is nothing but current divided by voltage which is transconductance so the gain is transconductance gain this can be given as gm is equal to i not divided by vi so transconductance will be equal to output current divided by input voltage if input is current and output is also current such type of gain is current gain so the gain will be current gain and that can be represented as ai is equal to i not divided by i i in the first combination of input and output we have voltage and voltage 
which means if input is voltage, output is voltage, such type of connection is known as a series shunt connection and the amplifier is known as series shunt amplifier. This amplifier is also known as voltage series amplifier. Here the amplifier is named after type of output and type of input connection. So type of output is voltage and type of input connection is series. That's why it is known as series voltage amplifier. For the second type, input is current and output is voltage which is shunt shunt amplifier. It is shunt shunt amplifier. So it is also known as voltage shunt amplifier. It is also known as voltage shunt amplifier. The next type of amplifier is a series a series amplifier. So it is series series amplifier which is also known as current series amplifier. It is also known as current series amplifier. The next type of amplifier is shunt series amplifier which is also known as current shunt amplifier. So it is shunt series amplifier which is also known as current shunt amplifier. So we have four type of feedback amplifiers. First one is a series shunt amplifier which is also known as voltage series amplifier. Shunt shunt amplifier which is also known as voltage shunt amplifier. Series series amplifier which is also known as current series amplifier and shunt series amplifier which is also known as current shunt amplifier. Now let us understand different tropologies of feedback amplifiers. So here we will discuss different block diagrams or tropologies of feedback amplifiers. There are four type of feedback amplifiers. So for each feedback amplifier we know there will be an amplifier stage or an amplifier circuit and a feedback stage or feedback circuit. Now we need to make the connection between amplifier stage and feedback stage depending upon the type of amplifiers which we are connecting. So first type of amplifier is a series shunt amplifier which means at the input side the input will be in series and at the output side the output will be connected in the form of shunt or parallel connection. In series shunt amplifier or voltage series amplifier input is voltage as well as output will also be voltage. So input voltage should be connected in the form of series and output voltage should be connected in the form of shunt. Now let us consider the input voltage which is Vs source voltage that should be connected in the form of a series. We will connect that to a resistor in the form of series that will be connected to the amplifier. Let us call this as resistor Rs. At the output side we need to connect the output voltage in the form of shunt. So we will take the resistor. So we will connect in parallel form and we will call that as voltage. V0 across resistor RL from the output side it is connected to feedback side. Output of feedback is connected as input to the amplifier. So this is the connection for series shunt amplifier. So at the input side between these two points we can measure the input voltage VI. Here gain A will be equal to V0 divided by VI here beta will be equal to so VF divided by V0 so VF is the output voltage across the feedback stage and V0 is the input to the feedback amplifier so this is beta V0 and also we can write the polarities plus sign minus here so across this voltage VI we will be having plus and minus. Across output voltage it will be plus and minus. 
here it will be plus and minus the next type of amplifier is a series series amplifier where input will be voltage and output will be current so input voltage should be connected in the form of series and output current will also be connected in the form of a series so let us take the input voltage vs that is connected in the form of series with resistor rs and at the output side we will connect a resistor rl where current will be in a series form so output stage is connected as input to the feedback and output of feedback is connected as input to the amplifier stage here the voltage will be vi current i not will be equal to il amplifier gain will be equal to i not divided by vi feedback gain beta will be equal to vf divided by i not therefore voltage vf which is output of feedback is nothing but beta i not so we can write the polarities it will be positive and negative here it will be positive and negative and here it will be positive and negative so this is series series amplifier next is a shunt shunt amplifier here the input is current and output will be voltage so current is connected in the form of parallel connection and voltage will also be connected at the output side in the form of parallel connection or shunt connection so at the input side let us take the resistor which is rs parallel to this let us connect the current source which is is and at the output side will connect a resistor in the form of shunt connection so let us call that as rl output of amplifier is connected to the input of feedback stage and output of feedback stage is connected as input to the amplifier stage so input is current and output is voltage so here polarity will be plus and minus amplifier gain can be given as v not divided by i i and at the feedback stage beta can be given as i of divided by v not output voltage of feedback stage is v of and current is i of so this is shunt shunt amplifier the next type of amplifier is shunt series amplifier which is also known as current shunt amplifier so here the input is current and output will also be current so input current should be connected in the form of shunt connection and output should be connected in series connection so input stage we will write a resistor which is rs and parallel to this we will connect a current source which is is which is a shunt connection and at the output stage we will be having a current which is connected in series so that's why we will take the resistor rl output of amplifier is connected to the input of feedback stage and output of feedback stage is connected as input to the amplifier stage so input is current which is i i and output is voltage which is v not so amplifier gain will be equal to v not divided by i i and feedback gain beta will be equal to i f divided by v not so here voltage will be v of across the output of feedback amplifier and current will be i f so this is a shunt series amplifier so these are the different topologies or block diagram of feedback amplifier so which you need to remember this is about basic type of feedback amplifiers i hope you have understood the topic thank you